Robert Sala is a new uh, Jet head coach. Listen to uh, Dan Orlovsky, who was on Greeny, uh, what he thinks of the hire. If you looked at the way they changed, he was adaptable. You know, he changed the way he called the defense this year because of that. I love the fluidity of his football team. The fact that he's bringing Matt LaFleur's little brother as a play caller. If you look at the good offenses in the NFL right now, they either have an absolute rock star at quarterback or they come from the Mike Shanahan tree. Cleveland, Tennessee, San Francisco, Green Bay, Minnesota, they're all from this Mike Shanahan tree and it's been 40 years of being good football in the NFL. So I absolutely, he was number one for me as a head coaching candidate. It's a absolute home run for the New York Jet fan base. Home run. How about that? Can I, can I express something? Please. Now, I, I don't want you to take this as an uh, affront to you or the show because I think that we are doing the absolute right thing. But I'm so annoyed with both DJ LeMayu and the Jets. I, I, because football Friday, the divisional weekend, I could do four hours just talking about football, football. So we have DJ to deal with because the Yankees never can go away for five minutes. I get it. So then you have DJ. Got to talk about DJ huge. No football. Then the Jets hire. Can we escape this Jets season for two weeks? I want to talk about real football, playing, teams that win. We're sucked back in to more speculation on can the Jets be good. It's the Yankees death. gave you two and a half months coach. without signing DJ. What are you blaming them? They waited till January 15th. True. Did they have to do it today, though? They could have waited till uh, Wednesday. Oh, how about a Wednesday? If they thought about us at all. Or Saturday. Let me text Brian. You should yeah. have done text this Brian. today. But even, even the Jets part. like The Jets news is super exciting, but honestly... It's it's all com- we're just going to play complete speculation of what can this do to this team and it's um it's frustrating when year after year we have reasons to speculate things could be good and it's I, tough because it never is. But but in all honesty with with Dan Orlovsky, a home run you you hope it's right I I, I don't know how, how could you know because this guy's probably widely respected in football yeah and one of the other teams would have hired him if the Jets didn't. No, I'm not saying it's a bad hire. Just at home run, we're gonna have to wait and see. You know, um, I, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not gonna get caught up in. You want an offensive guy over a defensive guy? They needed to bring somebody in that was a, a coach. It's gonna coach defense, gonna coach offense, special teams, handle the media, all that. You know, bring in these guys that are savants in one area and kind of hoping for the best in others is probably not the best thing in the world. He seems like he's gonna have a hand in things. And and Lafleur coming over. You know, makes sense. Although I think I think his brother's success is really helped by the fact he's got Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback. But I I, I like the hire. He seems like he's a really good guy. He looks like somebody that I'll look forward to talk to. That the fans can kind of get really behind. But we're gonna have to wait and see if it works. You know, so we'll find out if he could be a really good head coach. But I I don't you don't know because he's never done it. So there's still that unknown of can he make that transition. Can he handle having to deal with New York? Is he going to make the right decision on who their quarterback is going to be? Um, there's a there's a lot of things that are going to have to play into here, but I, I like it. Uh, I'm not against it under any stretch of the imagination. But guys, can we say home run? No. And, and we see, and, and and I'll say the same thing. I don't think anybody should sit there and go, "Oh my God, this is a disaster." I can't believe they did. You can't say that either. You could be, oh, "I'm not sure." Or I'm 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 really hoping for the best, but I don't think anybody can say slam dunk, negative or positive. All of it's going to be a wait and see when the resume doesn't have success as, as head coach in there, where there's some confidence in, hey, I know this guy can do it. Well, there's only one guy that was really available with with that kind of resume, and that was Peterson. I didn't right. think that would be a good who, hire. So, who, no, yeah, Jet- well, no, right. So then that's what I what I what I got into with Keyshawn. You can't go strictly on resume. But the one thing about going out and getting a Mike McCarthy or going out and getting a Doug Peterson, you could say, can they handle it? Can they do it? Well, they have done it. Can they do it now is another question. But there's always that I'm not sure about it. But there are a lot of things that I like about it. I love his energy. I love the fact that he comes in respected. I think there's something to the fact that 
When you work for respected coaches, you instantly get respect because why are those coaches respected? Because they make the right decisions. They make the right hires. So there's a lot of things to feel really good about, but you're still going to have to wait and see how it all you know transpires out here. 